Um, hi, it's been a while. So what's been going on for the past, like, month and a half? I've been doing a lot. I'm going through a lot. And, yeah, the definition of my past six weeks or so has been a lot. So yeah, according to my YouTube um, data, the last video I uploaded, I uploaded 38 days ago, as of the second I'm recording this, and that was the 24th of May. Now, that was a very long time ago, it's now July, it's the 1st of July, um, and yeah, yeah, in the past month, in fact the month of June, I did not have very much time at all. Very, very, very little time, in fact. The whole month has been a blur. I can't really remember much of June. And yeah, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that in a minute. Okay, so first of all, let's address the issue of like, what have I been doing for the past, like six weeks or so? Because I started work six weeks ago and I have been working every single day for the past six weeks, um, well, every weekday. Saturdays and Sundays, of course, are off, um, but I have been working in a COVID research lab. Now, if you don't know me, I did chemistry, biology, maths, and further maths at A-level, and I'm awaiting my results in the next couple of weeks, months, whatever. Um, it's halfway through August, whenever I'll be getting them, so it's pretty soon. But yeah, I've been working in a COVID research lab, which has been incredible. I've been, you know, watching the COVID process of how they extract COVID from literal sewage water, um, it's, it's interesting. But I've been doing that for the past six weeks and I will be continuing doing that over the summer, but I've been doing that and it's been so exciting. I've been part of the process, I've been part of the pretty much pre-preparation process where we like get literal wastewater and make it into lysate. That's what I've been doing. Um, and obviously I've really been enjoying it I've been, you know, excited to go to work, I'm excited to go do it. It's been tiring though, it is, it actually, it's exhausting. Um, I was obviously at work today and I'm just home and I'm just like, ugh, I want sleep, I need sleep. Um, and sleep's not something I've had a lot of in the last six weeks, for other reasons than this, but um, that is kind of what I've been doing. And obviously if you have any questions regarding COVID research, um, and wastewater then let me know because I'll be happy to talk to you about it if you want a video on it Then maybe I'll give you a video, but actually my work Did ask me to produce a video to put up on their website and to show people a bit of what the pre-processing is like so Because I made the video I'm guessing I'm allowed to use it. So let's put the video now
And yeah, that, that's my video. Um, it's not incredible, it's just, you know, a bit of a video introducing the world of wastewater and the world of COVID extraction from wastewater, which I only know a tiny bit of, and I do not know all the theory behind it, but um, I know what's happening. I know what <laughs> you need to do to be in a lab at post-master's level. Uh, obviously, I haven't started my degree yet, but we're in a lab and we're having fun with that. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past six weeks. Well, that's the first thing I've been doing for the past six weeks. So, another thing that was happening, you know, kind of in the background of work was driving. I've been driving for a while. I was just driving around, getting used to driving a car, learning my theory. I did my theory in August 2020. Um, so I've got my theory, which was great. Um, but it came to actually, you know, having to pass the driving test. And yeah, we went into lockdown in March. My birthday was in February. Went into lockdown in March. I could get lessons. So my mum took me out driving a lot over the summer, um, over the extended summer that we did get last year and throughout this year. And I booked lessons in October and I got lessons in the first or the 31st of May. That's when my first driving lesson was. I booked it in October. It just kept on getting pushed forwards until eventually things kind of opened up again. 31st of May 2021 was my first driving lesson and I'd started work that week or the week before it was that week actually so I started work that week I had a driving lesson for the first time that week um I was out driving every single day after work you know I'd come home from work nine to five job um in Belfast which is pretty far away from where, where I live so you know a lot of transport time um but I come home from work I'd go for an hour's drive before I even got home and then you know do the evenings activities or whatever that was going to be and yeah I'd been driving a lot every single day as I said Saturdays a lot even on Sundays going out for a drive between church in the morning and church at night it was like a crazy whirlwind of time and yeah that was pretty much every single day of June after four lessons um on the 30th of June which was yesterday as of recording this I passed my driving test so I mean it was worth it but I got so little sleep from literally the end of May until the start of July. Um, I'm very sleep deprived. I'm still very sleep deprived. The bags under my eyes, and that's the state I'm in. Hopefully there'll be a lot more sleep happening um, now that I'm going down to working part-time rather than full-time. That'll be quite nice. <laughs> I need sleep. I need, I need sleep. Um, but you know, it's been a crazy month and I'm so glad it's over now. It's been an absolutely crazy month and I have had very, very little time to myself, very little spare time because of course I've been running my Eurovision channel behind the scenes as well. I was able to bulk record videos after Eurovision happened before I properly started into work. Um, I was able to bulk record a lot of videos to keep me going until this point, which has been quite nice. But for this channel, We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. So, what does the next while look like for this channel? Um, well, I have recorded one video for this channel to go up, you know, in the next couple of weeks. Um, hopefully sooner than 34 days or 38 days or whatever it was. But I have another video recorded um, about A-level chemistry going up and um, so that's going to be a thing but I will have more time to record videos for this channel. I have three scripted, I think I have three scripted or four scripted that I can just record but editing videos for this channel takes a lot longer than editing videos for the Eurovision channel. The Eurovision channel looks like there may be more editing but actually this channel requires scripting, it requires recording um, and there's a lot more recording. It's not as straightforward as just reacting to something. It involves scripting, um, recording, editing, extra assets and stuff um it just takes a lot longer for this channel um because of the nature of study tube but yeah i'm gonna hopefully get out a help video or my experiences video of my four that's three four a level subjects um so that's gonna be you know a nice roundup of my experiences and then um that should bring us to results day 
there will be a live opening of results video that will be coming um trust me that'll be there so look forward to that <laughs> probably at home because we can get them online so i'll be doing that and see will i get into my dream university will i get into my dream university course and then after results day i mean who knows what kind of videos will be coming out i assume there may be some results day videos post results day videos university videos coming up I mean, obviously there's going to be university videos getting prepared for university, stationary halls, etc, etc, which obviously I'm really excited for, um, but I've just needed this time to relax, except, well, relax off this channel, I guess. I have not had the time, I, I genuinely have not had time to do anything, um, this channel based, and I'm sorry, um, I do have to say I'm sorry, like 31, 38 days is the longest I've gone without posting a video. Um, I will be do posting less videos in this channel because I was bombarding you with content that I wasn't fully happy with. Um, I'm also hopefully going to be doing like a channel overhaul where I unlist some videos which will all be, you know, able to be found in a playlist. Um, but the channel's going to go over a couple of changes where some videos will be unlisted so you can't see them. Um, unless you go into a specific playlist where they will all be because they're all going to still be there. Um, it's just we're going to properly channel the study tube energy, channel the vlogish energy, um, channel the life update energy and that's what we're going to be going forward with. But I want to say if you've made it this far, first of all, um, comment, comment zoom zoom because we do be driving. Um, but yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you for the support and um, a massive thank you to all the people who've subscribed actually since I last, um, yeah, since I last posted because there have been a couple of people who have subscribed and a lot of people have been watching my old videos and I might be making some of those again actually this year, nice updated versions. I mean, one of my most popular videos is my GCSE German one slash GCSE languages one and I rewatched that video and it's horrific. I mean the information is great but the video quality and all is horrific so that might be a thing I'm going to redo but um, I want to say a massive thank you for all of your support over the last two years at this point almost um, and so yeah that is all the time I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this kind of update video. Uh, if you did then don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, do all that great stuff but thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next video.